Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Tech Fanag and I from AndroRoots.com. Back here with a great RAM review for Galaxy S3. And this does support a wide variety of uh, carriers for Galaxy S3. Uh, supports T Mobile, ATT, Verizon, and Sprint. So, all four major US carriers. So, that's a very good thing. Um, you get a wide variety of those, <laughs> which is really nice. And I've been seeing a lot lately, which is very good for all you Galaxy S3 users. Um, it will probably end up supporting your carrier. Um, so in here is CS ROM, all right, for your Galaxy S3, and as you can see right away, it's pretty nice and it's pretty sweet. Um, right now, I'm running on the um, Razer M launcher. Uh, you you have an option to choose Razer M launcher or TouchWiz launcher, and I'm going to show you the uh, Razer M launcher features because you usually always see uh, TouchWiz. So this one does come included with the Razer M, which is really nice. Um, you have this favorite button that's different, I believe. <laughs> Or um, you got apps right here, you know, you got your widgets there too, <clears throat> which is really nice. And as you can see, there's only one page, and if you want to add another page, you can uh, do it. Start with a template, and then you can search for a, some, a template that you want. Let's say I want a uh, song name, okay, so for media, I'll select that one, and it'll come up. Um, but it didn't come up with the uh, Google Play widget and all that because I didn't install it when I was installing this ROM with Aroma Installer, so it didn't come installed with this ROM, but you have the option to install those widgets if you'd like. Um, also, if you swipe to your left from the home screen, you have all the options, kind of like a widget thing for your uh, top widgets on your left-hand side. So you have phone ringtone, you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile data, and airplane mode. And if you need more, you can go to all settings right there too. So like I mentioned earlier, this is not your TouchWiz, this is um, Razer M Launcher for your Galaxy S3, which is really nice. I really like it. Um, and let's actually take a look at the wallpaper. Um, Razer M Launcher wallpaper, so you can see all of these. Uh, current one I'm using is this one, the second one. You got nice colors, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and go through them pretty quickly. But you can take a look at all these once you do install on your device if you do choose to. I would recommend you. Um, stable, great battery life. And overall, just a fun, great experience with this uh, Razer M launcher, which is really nice overall. And oh, also this widget, this Razer M widget, I really like it is because you can flip them. <laughs> so um, if Samsung Galaxy S3, you know, the Galaxy S3 TouchWiz and all that, got a little bit more interactive with their um, widgets and all that, I think it would really help them and look really much more nice. So you know, I can flip it to um, analog or I can go to digital, which is really nice. I can go ahead and add another city if I want, you know, really nice. I can see going to settings for battery, I can flip it back, which is really nice and just fun to play with, I gotta be honest with you guys, it's just fun to play with overall. Um, as you go into settings, because you always want settings, and also for the widgets, as you can see right there, they're a little bit different. Um, when you turn them on, they look a little bit different than your usual widgets, so keep that in mind. And also here you have battery bar, so for options, you can show the battery bar, you can make it disappear. You can animate it, you know, you've got all these other options too. I'm not going to go in depth because they're pretty basic and you can take a look uh, in them for yourself. And also my batteries are running low <laughs> for my camera. Hotspot and tethering, you can do tethering. It should work, I haven't tried it. Uh, mine doesn't work for some reason. Other people have said theirs works for T-Mobile at least. Mine's not working. I think they found out that I've been tethering and they're watching me pretty darn closely. <laughs> And about device, let's go ahead and end it with there. You're running 4.1, of course, and the version of this is 1.2, so you can see uh, what version you're watching compared to the one that you're seeing on your XDA page or whatnot. And also clock options you have here, you can do high clock, you know, so the clock goes away. Select date format, you can choose whatever you want. Automatic time zones if you really want to or not, you know. So overall, it's pretty much basic stuff. But gives you a nice experience with that Razer M launcher, which I really like, me personally. And you get as many pages as you want, you know. But it's really nice how you can limit the amount of pages you want. Not too much, not too little of amount of pages. So that's just a quick look at the um, CS ROM for Galaxy S3, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner if you already haven't. As it does really help me out. Shows me you support me. You want to see more of these videos around my see Galaxy S3, um, app reviews, game reviews. I know I do the whole thing rooting for both Mac and Windows, clock mount recovery, the whole shebang for Android. This is about any video for your Android device. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. All links are down below, including the link to this ROM or the article to this ROM and the source. Uh, just click on the article down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.